Hi everyone, Rudy here. I want to show you how you can use the mouse wheel to make your life easier in Diablo 3 for attacking, kiting, looting, for uh, clicking objects and all these kinds of things. So uh, a lot of you might notice this already, especially if you watch my stream, because I have been using this for years and uh, I just want to make a quick video about it because I still get a lot of questions. And uh, the way this works is um, you can bind the fourth move button in the key bindings to your mouse wheel. This is here and I have it on mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down. And what false move does is it essentially um, makes your character move to wherever your cursor is at that moment. So when I scroll my mouse right now, I will walk like this and you can see these little dots on the ground. This is uh, like all of these are individual clicks essentially. The advantage of using false move instead of just clicking on the ground is that you cannot misclick. So when there's like an enemy, um, like a zombie is standing in your way and you left click on it, you will actually attack it and uh, you will not, not move. So to prevent that, you can force move and you will not, uh, you will never attack it. Uh, you'll just move to wherever you want to go and you have much better control over your character independent of the situation you're in. So this is pretty nice, but you can also use this for a lot more things than just moving. So for example, uh, right now I have my multi-shot demander here. I have multi-shot bound to, uh, to right click and when I right click, I will just shoot. But when I right click and I scroll, I will shoot and move at the same time, like this. And I will move towards my cursor. And the good part about this is you do not lose any DPS. Uh, basically, you, you have to stand still for um, the attack animation, but you don't have to stand still for the return animation when uh, your character um, you know, like shoots first and then puts down the bow again. And this, uh, this, this put back animation can be canceled. And uh, this is pretty nice because like this you can um, reduce the incoming damage a lot. So you can dodge uh, archers, you can dodge uh, elite affixes or whatever while uh, shooting. And uh, you overall just improve your performance by a lot. Because uh, obviously you don't want to stand still and uh, just tank everything as a demon hunter or as many other classes as well. And um, if you do try to do this like manually with just clicking, it will be much harder. So um, you would, you would have to click every time to the side and yeah, I, I can kind of do it, but um, it's it's quite difficult. And with the false move, once you get used to it, um, you have just simply met much better control of your character. So like this, I can you know move to the side. Or for example, if we want to shoot here, so um, for no particular reason, we choose Kadala as our target. And um, I want to shoot at her and I can like move around her while shooting always in her direction. Just by right clicking to her, and then force moving to the side and then continue. So obviously depending on your attack speed, this might be a little, a little bit more or less difficult, but um, it definitely helps a lot to um, make your, your targeting uh, more consistent. And uh, this is also like one of the reasons um, why people have a lot of trouble with multi-shot pushing, for example, because um, this is like the, the core of how to kite and how to um, you know, dodge uh, dangerous affixes, dangerous um, enemies and um, this will definitely help you out once you master it. But there are also some other neat things, for example for looting, uh, you can use this and uh, loot stuff on the ground really really fast. For example when you do greater rifts and you have the loot from the rift guardian, um, what I do is I have a, a button where I can um, unlock my mouse wheel, so it's just like free spinning, and I do a lot of clicks like this, you can see this on the ground here right now. This looks like this when I spin my mouse wheel, and uh, now I'm gonna just swoop us all up, and that's it. And what I did is I held down left click and I scrolled. And um, e even with um, the, the locked mouse wheel where um, every, every scroll has to be done manually, it still goes really fast. So I can do this again here. That's it. And it's really fast, it's really nice. And uh, it just makes everything so much easier. You know, when there's like a lot of loot on the ground, um, you can really try to get used to that and uh, it, it helps out. You don't have to click like, like a maniac, you know, a hundred times to loot everything for goblin packs, for death breath, for gems, for like anything. It's just really, really nice in those uh, situations. Another really cool addition is that you can also left click on objects. So um, for example, weapon racks and battlefields of eternity, chests on the ground, everything. You get the Nephilim obelisk. Like essentially I hold down left click right now and I will, I will keep moving like this, and then when I scroll, I'll activate the left click. And like this, I can uh, click on objects 
and so on. So this is also really nice and uh, can make your life easier when you're running certain maps or when you have like Hamilton Waste Guard, for example, which is an item that I really like to use. And um, yeah, just in general for all these kinds of things, you can always substitute your clicks by just scrolling with this trick. Personally, I started using this a long time ago. I also didn't really like it at the start because it was um, different. It was you know, like a little inconvenient, but um, once you get used to it, it's actually very nice and I would definitely recommend this if you want to get the most out of your character you need to use false move well and uh, you cannot you know afford to waste um, you know attacks when you need to move and so on so uh, you you really want to uh, make sure that um, you have good control of your character and this is the best way to do this so that's just a little trick that i wanted to show you in case you didn't know about it yet it's uh, very useful and uh, i hope it's going to help you as well so hope you like this video i'll see you guys next time